Hi right, guys, welcome to Life Around the Koi Pond. Today we're going to be cleaning the filters. God, this is going to be so cold. Right, first thing we do, go around into the mini filter house. Then go to the switch bar, vortex pump, off. Stops it flowing into the three vortexes. Starting to slow down a bit now on the floor. When we come round here, it's a shit out. Right, <laughs> then uh, lift this up and then we drop. Then we start to drop the vortexes. And then we come round, this is the bad bit. This is what we dread. Look at them, poor little mates. They're happy though. You know, they're just still mooching about. Just doing their own little thing. Well, anyway, this ain't gonna get these filters clean, is it? Right, so we go in. We go in. This is every Sunday, this. Once a week. Excuse the camera. Quality and stuff. But, right. This is the brushes. Bear one. Bear two. We've got jack matting, and underneath there, we've got K1. Right, I'll just place you down for a second. As I roll my sleeve up. Right, I open these. There that. You've got to get your hand in. Stir these up. Bits of leaves and all sorts. See? Does a good job to be fair. God, that's cold. Jesus. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah, the hand's falling off. Ah. That is so cold. But anyway. Come on. Then, with a. This is a. Uh, K1 micro and Jack Martin. It's uh, staying that up. Uh, uh, we'll just leave that to drain out. This one over here is the that's the moving bed. And that's the four-inch overflow. Now because of the size of the pipes, four-inch pipes, they don't block up. It take, would take a hell of a lot for them to block up with ice. And uh, there's a tiny bit of ice there, but we haven't really been um, suffering with ice. And uh, and that's the, it goes right to the outflow and back into the pond. But yeah, I think it's a fantastic system. You know, not many people like the vortexes. They are dated, but the, uh, the water quality and the, um, the pluses that you get from these definitely outweighs. You can't, you can't really say that, that they're rubbish or anything like that. They are fantastic. I absolutely love them. But you've got to get your hands in. But yeah, just uh, running them off now. And uh, 
I'm not going to go drop in the pond because I'd usually. I want you to. No, you want me to, do you? A little bit, yeah. Right. All right, then we will. So then, so we're going to drop the pond. We've got to get some water in, which will flush whatever whatever's left on the brushes. So I'll close that one off. So that'll fill this bay up. Sorry again about the camera quality, you know, it, I'm still learning. But yeah, loads of brushes in there, loads. It's filling up now. That's the outlet down there. That'll take it into the second bay. Only one of these air pumps is running, which is this one here. That one isn't. Switch that one off. Don't need it running. Not winter. Yeah. Yeah, the pond hasn't frozen up. Went to the market today. There's a pond where we where we go at the market. Absolutely frozen solid. There's hardly any fish in it, but it's just nice to see the little stretch of water I can and compare the conditions really. We didn't really buy anything, it was got a few presents for people. Today is Sunday. It's Christmas next week. I don't know if you're looking forward to it or not. I uh, take it to leave it myself like but I love it for my grandkids and for other people. I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? But yeah. Yeah, so this is filling up now. And this will fill up. I'll close that one off. Surprising how much it takes to fill these up. Really, these vortexes, because they're hell of a size. Yeah, got two lots of drap matting in there. Yeah. Yeah, that one's run right off as that. Like I say, once that's filled up, I'll show you, once it's filled up, it doesn't have bubble like a good one. But some people might say, you know, you're killing your bacteria by running it off like that. Well, I don't think it does. You know, it's not, it's not bone dry, it's just damp. And not only that, in this temperature, you don't have much bacteria anyway. And the fish are doing absolutely fantastic, so I don't know, I beg to differ. But yeah. God, it's cold. Yeah, but we moan about the cold, but at the end of the day, it's winter, isn't it? You know, you're not, you're not gonna have 26 degrees. You know, it's going to be cold. We just don't like the cold, that's it, isn't it? We'll whinge. We'll just whinge in ponds. Right. Let's let them fill up. Right, have to get out. Get out now. It's a bit precarious. 
but yeah, that's the filter hours. Sorry about my fingers getting in the way of the camera. Yeah. There's my electric box, which I've got my float switch wired, so they're waiting for the water to come dashing through. Yeah, surprise no quick it drops. There they all are. All huddled up. Judge and Mildred and the rest of the gang. Right. That'll do. So I don't want to go too mad with this hose pipe. Knock that off. Right, that'll start to fill that last bay up with a moving bed. Still got a little bit of string algae at that end. Well, I've got a few air stones. But, uh, yeah. Don't have to take some water, does them vortexes. And yeah, like I say, I'm not using me easy pod, me UVs. So an 8,000 litre pump, uh, two UVs, and an air pump, they're switched off. All I've got is an 18,000 litre pump running through to the three vortexes. That's all I've got running. And obviously, my air, air pump for the moving bed, but that's it, nothing else. I'm saving a small fortune as well. Here it comes. So now that moving bed, I'll take you up there. Put up have an accident. There we go. There we go. Sorry. That's the moving bed, that's all the that's all going correct, is that brilliant? Marvellous. Yeah, that's another good reason why it's not frozen up as well. You we always keep these covers on. You have the slightest gap. Or anything like that. For the wind chill or the outside elements to get in. <coughs> it will freeze. But yeah, yeah, they're loving that. Right, guys, that was the cleaning of the vortexes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.